Heston's also keeping an eye on restaurant manager Michael. Michael, he's putting his team together. Yep. In a really positive way, he's taking, he's taking control, and he's not just standing there pretending to look. He's spotting loads of things. He is. He's looking like a restaurant manager. He is. I think they thought we wouldn't be able to do it, and I think they were very nicely surprised by it, and they were like, oh, God, they actually can do that. It went really well. I was a bit worried um, to start with, um, but once I got into it, I settled down. I do know my food, but I've got to believe in myself. You did amazingly well. I thought your response, product knowledge, you still looked at them and you smiled. And, and I just thought you, were, you, you started to take control of the situation. It, you've done brilliantly well. Thank you. Two weeks to go before the opening of Heston's restaurant and the little chef boss is coming to a tasting session. Despite having three Michelin stars, Heston's food hasn't always come up to Ian's expectations. The aromatics of the mint dissipated very quickly. It's interesting how it coats the roof of your mouth. My only comment is it's too salty for me. So is there anything here you're going to eat, Ian? <laughs> <laughs> I might have fallen out with Ian, but he is the boss of Little Chef after all and he's got to taste all of my dishes. Not only that, he's got to like them, and most importantly of all, he's got to want them to do well. Not just in Popham, across the whole network. Hi, again. Again. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> Sorry, what am I eating now? This is fish pie. Oh, hot. Oh, oh, oh. It's really hot, isn't it? <laughs> I'm cogitating about the fish pie. Um, no, I'm getting the flavours now. I'm getting the mustard. I don't, I'm not used to mustard in fish pie. I'm getting the mustard and I'm getting a bit of the horseradish. Yeah. Uh, and we'll finish it with cheese, but it hasn't got any cheese on right now. Is that just not an, uh, a flavour too far? It's, it's only for the um, richness of the potato on top. Uh -huh. OK, good. What's that? Chilli con carne. Yeah, looking forward to this. It just looks like Mrs Pegler's uh, chilli. Mmm. That pokes you in the eye with a cumin. Mm. You've got the layers of flavour there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd make it hotter. Do you know what chilli? We've toned it down. No, turn it back up again. <laughs> <laughs> this looks rich. Yeah, I it's fantastic. This is braised ox cheeks. Oh right. So there's a couple a couple of yeah. Really gutsy dishes on this Excellent. menu that actually some people might go, oh, I don't really ox cheeks, but actually this is pushing the pushing the envelope. But yeah, I, yeah, I know it's fantastic. Mm. Oh, that's <clears throat> um, don't tell me. Hang on, um, that's a, a red wine reduction. Yeah, is this a cheap dish? Our ox cheeks oh. aren't that cheap anymore, and the amount of red wine in it. Yeah, sure. What, what you could do is, I suppose, if you got stuck, was to pull back on the red wine a bit. It's just, it's so mm. rich and oh, kind of unctuous. Um, unctuous yeah. yeah. And I think there's, a, I would like to have a couple of dishes that push, push the price barrier on the menu. Oh. 18 <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I, I reckon our price ceiling, roughly, is around about 9 99 10 pounds. You might get away with 11 50 but, you know, that could be marginal. Um, so if he, if, for instance, he came in with the ox cheeks at 15 99 it's not going to work. I wasn't joking when I said the ox cheeks could cost 18 pounds 50 they're really expensive. So getting all these prices past Little Chef, acceptable to Little Chef, is going to be a total nightmare. In just two days' time, Heston's Little Chef on the A303 will open with a redesigned interior and a completely new menu. But not everything's going to plan. That's it. That's not right, is it? <laughs> it's not going very well. <laughs> As you can see, the builders are still here and they're finishing off and there's equipment missing and the desserts are not here. They're coming tomorrow, I think. It's sort of like the blind leading the blind at the moment. 
70 invited guests, including journalists and the nation's most feared restaurant critics, will be coming to pass judgment on Heston's vision of Little Chef's future. Where did you break that? Oh, you're so going to be in this shit. I know. <laughs> Heston's new dishes are being delivered, though not all of it makes it as far as the restaurant. Now the char grill is working, Heston has to decide which type of steak he'll put on the menu. Good steak costs money. But if it's good enough, people will go out of their way and make a short detour to stop here, and that means more customers. That's pretty good, that. Huh? Don't cost all these yet. Ready to set the staff some tasks or something. We're nowhere near. We've got this many dishes still to do few problems with ingredients. We've got to get that menu off to the, well, to the printers, otherwise we're not going to have a menu tomorrow. I am worried. We've got, we've got no menu yet. First customers come tomorrow. We've got to get something printed, otherwise they're going to have nothing to order from. Tomorrow we open. So yeah, yeah, I'm very worried. About it's 9.30 p.m. at the experimental kitchen at Bray. Heston's new dishes are finally being photographed for the menu. But photographs of perfect food are the least of Heston's worries. We've got to cost every dish on this menu, and we have to get those cost to the chef tonight. We should have gotten to them three days ago. This, this process, this pricing process, is key to the whole operation. It's where Little Chef can succeed or fail. None of the old Little Chef dishes cost more than £10, but Heston's using better quality ingredients. Now that his dishes are finalised, he can work out prices for the menu. He's meeting his financial manager. Can he adjust his profit margins to bring his steak in under the £10 mark? 1371 Ooh. For a good charger of steak? Reason. I think, yeah, I think it's great. And I think it's, that really, that can be the dish that breaks the £10 mark. And if we're going to put it on, it, it's either put the right quality on or don't put it on at all. Fish pie. £10.40, something like that. Too high. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They're currently, they're 7 25 but that's, that's 7 25 for a load of starchy gunk. I mean, this is this. Uh, the, yeah, this is a Rolls Royce of fish pies to me. It's spit roast chicken. You don't want to know. Go on. Fourteen pound fifty. <gasps> I think it's got to be below ten quid. When they get these figures, they are going to have a heart attack. Good, good, good. I'm excited and as nervous as hell. So my reputation is going to is going to hang on the two weeks following the opening of this restaurant. That if I don't deliver, I'm stuffed. Tomorrow, Little Chef in Popham opens. The national press and some of the most feared restaurant critics will judge whether Heston's vision of Little Chef works. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. And I'm feeling good. I think this is great. It, it just sings vibrancy. It's exciting. It, it's got energy to it. Yeah, and this is all about trying to kind of revitalize the brand. It's certainly a change from what it was. <laughs> when I go back to one of the first visits that, that we had when I was sitting there and I mentioned, described it as it felt like an old people's home. I certainly couldn't call it that now. From the time Heston met the Little Chef boss five months ago, Ian's had the...